let's talk a little bit let's talk a little bit let's talk a little bit about the john geiger j no john geiger 004 it's not j john geiger 004s in this particular colorway the dry ice the dry ice colorway i really like these because i think the the original colorway that i have the blacks are fucking stupendous but the whites are really fucking well done really fucking well done if i was being picky if i was being picky i'd say that i wouldn't want the yellow toe box in the front there i've mentioned before that the shape and the silhouette of the john geiger 004s are stupendous will have to definitely be in my top 10 list of best shoes or best sneakers of this year for 100 percent sure especially because it's a new silhouette especially because it's from a designer who's been doing some good stuff over the last few years and this is kind of culminated in their almost magnus opus right the greatest ever creation they've ever done and i'm happy to see it get all the love it's getting online so i really like the colorway i think the colorway fucking works i think the paneling with the white fucking works the mesh upper the midsole everything about it fucking works the only thing i change about it just to kind of keep this white colorway. I'd actually like it to be an all white colorway. Maybe if I was to get a pair kind of coloring in the yellow and making that white and some of the blue tints on the side, just to kind of mix it up from the black pair. That's what I personally do if that was me. Another thing that I would do in this particular pair, because it's a dry ice colorway, you know, the icy type of theme, I'm surprised that John Geiger didn't go for a clear icy sole akin to the Reebok Classics and I'm wondering the other day I was like you know what no one does icy soles anymore you see a lot of gum soles but you don't see a lot of clear soles I, I used to always love um Reeboks and their ability to make these like clear um translucent um icy blue soles because they look really nice, especially when you bought them new now over time when you wore them they kind of got a bit fucked up and shit but their clear icy soles are so fucking gorgeous and I think on this particular pair of J004s, I honestly do think that icy sole would work so fucking well on those particular John Geiger 4s. Like, imagine if they, if you could do a fucking soul swap and get these fucking, especially this perforated Reebok Classic thing on the bottom, right, of the John Geiger's 004 as an outsole, I think that would pop amazingly well. Or, if you didn't want to do that, maybe an all-white outsole would work really well as a kind of mix up and a change but maybe production manufacturing mo models maybe you know maybe it costs a certain amount to also change the bottom maybe you can make the soles maybe you can make more so maybe you can make the soles as a quantity a certain amount but then if you change the bottom you have to kind of make them from scratch again i don't know there's probably a reason manufacturing wise and cost wise why he didn't go for the white outsole it kind of obviously works with the black outsole anyway but i think i would have preferred to see a clear blue I see an outsole or maybe a white outsole to kind of balance and to kind of contrast from the black pair that everybody knows and loves regarding the dry r fours. Now I say all of that, I opine about what he should have done, what he should have changed and what I would have done if I was designing them. But it doesn't actually matter, does it? Because when you go on the website, look at that. They're all sold out anyway, which is fucking cool. Again, like I keep saying, like I think designers that do this sort of stuff who go out of the limb, who go out on the limb, to make new silhouettes and challenge themselves to design a fresh new shape instead of going and just rehashing the same old Jordan silhouette in their own colorway or Air Force One in their own colorway or Air Max Runner or New Balance silhouette, whatever else it may be. The fact that he went out and tried and tried to do something fresh and different, I think this guy deserves all the credit in the world. And I'm glad to see the customers respond because I think this will obviously give him the encouragement to know, hey, People are ready for something new and fresh. Go out there and try something new and fresh. But challenge us as a customer base. Challenge us as fans. And we will respond with our wallets, with our fucking monies. And as you can see here, courtesy of his fucking website, every size sold out. 004 Dry Ice, 202 pounds, which I think is a pretty good price as well for a shoe um, that's been made independently by a designer himself. It's fucking banging. So big up John Geiger for another sellout on these fucking shoes. As I said before, I would have purposely, I would have personally liked a white outsole just to kind of mix it up from the black colorway. But still, 
absolutely amazing. The blurb says, introducing the third installment of the 004 model, dry ice, crafted from grey and white, durable KPU, breathable white mesh. It appears in the intricate zigzag in stitching and subtle John Geiger branding. The vibrant orange color tabs and the turquoise detail add a unique touch with a proprietary O-Tech and EVA popcorn layer midsole and a redesigned rubber outsole. It ensures exceptional comfort and support, perfect for stepping out and making a statement this summer. Each pair comes with a G, sorry, JG shoe box along with the John Geiger branded dust bag, blah, de, blah, blah, blah. So perfectly great shoe. Not really mad at it in the slightest. I would have personally liked to go with an all-white upper if I was being very, very finicky and pinicky about it and obviously an all-white outsole. Or if, if manufacturing and production methods could allow a nice icy out a nice icy outsole that would have been fucking cool to see that kind of tread and actually i'm surprised reebok aren't actually um retroing these anyway i'm surprised these aren't being retroed more often especially nowadays with the whole like tracksuit culture thing going on this fucking grime classic of a shoe the reebok classic with that icy saw outsole would be so fucking banging right now it works so well now with everything i was wearing in my humble opinion in my humble opinion